welcome back to another behind the scenes cake life vlog. I am just making my first brew of the day but I'll talk you through what is happening this week. You see I've already made a start because it's actually Thursday today. I just didn't feel, feel like filming much yesterday but I have two cakes this week. One is leaving on Friday tomorrow so that is going to be my main focus for today and then this big complicated one you can see here is minecraft <laughs> now i know a cake decorator's watching will have collectively groaned at that <laughs> just because we know how time consuming minecraft cakes are with all their little squares and blocks and everything has to be nice and square <laughs> um so yeah it does swallow up a lot of time but that one's not leaving till Saturday at 5pm so my priority is the single tier today and then whatever time's left we will power through the Minecraft cake. So here is how this one is looking. It is chocolate cake with a green vanilla buttercream. That's the nicest surprise when you cut and open it up. Um, but it's not just Minecraft because Finn, who the cake is for, likes to build tracks like we all did when we were kids like you make tracks out of anything for your cars or you pretend that they're roller coasters and you you make big long winding tracks out of things um so we're going to incorporate that into this minecraft cake by having like little tunnels and tracks because he like a mine cart so it's not only minecraft but it's also mine cart and a few other little cameos from characters such as uh, among us um, and things like that and obviously characters from minecraft as well and buildings so this is very detail heavy it's going to take me a very long time and here is the little single tier i have yet to finish ganashing yet you can tell it's not quite as smooth and finished as they usually look so i'm going to finish that today um, and this is a gaming cake um, for a man who likes to play his pc game so it's not like xbox or playstation or anything like that it's his pc he likes playing on also likes Call of Duty and they have a little chow dog that I'm going to place down here and golf as well so it's a little bit of a mixture this one <laughs> now Friday I decided to stay behind a little bit last night just to get this cake finished um I could have finished it off this morning but I wanted to come in and straight work straight on the Minecraft cake because it's going to be very detail heavy um so Abby was at her friends last night for tea so we just thought oh, well we can stay in the studio order a pizza um while I finish it off so it didn't take too long but I'll show you what the finished result looks like so here it is, you just see me put this one together, but this is how, how it looks finished. And this is Josh um, with a replica of his gaming chair and his two PC screens. He's got a cup of tea there and his light up keyboard and a mouse and wires. He's even got his little webcam on the top um, and his headphones that match. And then coming down, um, the games he likes to play are Call of Duty. So I made base in these like camouflage colours. We've got his name on his age on dog tags. He also likes golf, so this is a replica of his golf bag. And our little dog. Now I'm not gonna lie, this dog took a while. It was quite hard because they've got a chow dog. Um and if you've seen them, they're very quite fluffy. Um but he's been cutting away where his legs and body are quite short and, he, and he's left with like a mane. 
Um, so yeah, we're just trying to diff pretty difficult to get the likeness, but I think it's still turned out pretty cute. So this one is leaving today, so I'm going to box this up and write the invoice out. And then we've got to turn our attention to this. I've still got to finish ganashing it. Um, you know, just, just clean up the corners and try and get everything straight, but it's going to be covered in a lot of stuff, so I'm not going to beat myself up too much about the sharp corners. Right, so I've just grabbed a piece of paper because it may come as no surprise, but I don't plan a lot of my cakes very much, especially when they're odd shaped like this, because I just use whatever cake I've got start adding bits on so i don't i didn't actually know what shape this was going to be until i built it there are things that need to go on this cake that have been requested by finn's dad which is lava water minecart track minecraft theme so blocks minecraft buildings minecraft characters and cameo characters now those are all like last minute details i need to be able to see where the water's going where the lava's going and where the minecart track is going those are the most important bits in terms of layout so i'm actually only just getting around to designing this now because like i said i didn't know what the layout was going to look like so i'm just quickly going to draw what i'm looking at here so that's the top part of the cake and then it comes out onto a platform, uh, not very good with perspectives. <laughs> that comes down, then there's a square platform that comes out here. It looks roughly something like that. The board, there's not too much space. So the most logical thing would be to have waterfall um, in the gap. So if I put water, like a waterfall down there in the centre and a little bit of water down here, obviously it's got to be blocky. So we've got waterfall and water. So that's one thing ticked off. Now I've got to figure out where to put the lava. So I think maybe round this end, because we've got water over here, let's do orange lava round here. And maybe it can be erupting from this little corner piece that we have. So we've got lava in this section. So we've got orange, blue. The rest is obviously going to be green and brown. Now, minecart track. This is the difficult one because it has to come in and out and he wanted it to go across a bridge. So again, the bridge is going to be more likely over the waterfall and I've got to figure out where the track goes in and out for it to make sense. <laughs> because I now know where the water and the lava is going, I can actually cover this now because I know what colours I need to use for the base. And then when it comes to adding track, I can just cut the little holes out and put black in them for the, the tunnels. At least with that information, very crude drawing, I can already see what colours I need to use. So we can actually start covering this now. I also have a couple of options when it comes to the squares because we all know how time consuming Minecraft, car Minecraft cakes are when it comes to the squares. So I've had a little dig through my drawers to see what I've got. So I have these square cutters so I could individually cut the squares out. Um, at least with these it cuts multiple squares at a time but this is the smallest one I have so the smallest squares would be that size. I do have these and I also have bigger ones which are all going to be too big. The good thing about this one is that you could cut squares smaller so you could turn one of these squares into four by moving your cutter up slightly to cut half the square if that makes sense. So I could cut small squares with this if I wanted. I also have a really old tutorial, but it's always done really well, which is the Minecraft tutorial from many years ago now, but I will leave it linked below. And I had um, a plastic impression mat, which I Im imprinted the squares onto a piece of paste and then painted the squares rather than individually cutting any of them out, which was quicker. Um, and I also find this in my cupboard. I always buy things like this. that I've had this for years. Um, and it's actually a silicone pot holder. So it's for like taking things out of the oven. Um, I'm lifting pan lids and things. Um, 
because it's made of silicone so it doesn't burn your hands or anything. But look at the pattern. Tiny individual squares. The only problem is it has a logo in the middle so the only pieces I can cut all in one would be this size which isn't too bad because none of my pieces are particularly big on this cake. So I have options. Do I cut them out or do I imprint them with the silicone mat? In fact, I'll show you the other one I have. And you can see why I bought them. This is another silicone pot mat, but can you see? These are tiny little hexagons, which would be perfect for bee themed cakes. Um, or just giving some texture without a specific um, texture mat. So these were like literally like £1.50 or something like that. And you've got yourself some impression mats. Right, I just thought I'd show you how I'm getting on. So I have rolled out my piece of paste and I'm taking my silicone mat um, and I'm just placing it on, avoiding logo and the edges. And then I'm taking the rolling pin and pushing down. I'm not rolling across it because if you roll across it, it will skew your squares. So I'm just pressing down with the rolling pin, trying to add like even pressure all the way along. And then I'm going back in with my fingers just to make sure every single square has been imprinted. So I'm not left with like little patches in it. So I've just pressed that all down and then I'm going to peel it off. And as you can see, we have a nice sheet of mini squares. I'm just going to cut down each edge with my scalpel. And then I can just see the logos imprinted there. So I'm just going to go for the row below that and cut that off. So we're left with a little mat of squares. Um, and then I've got like a little scraper that I just use to tap the squares back into position. And this is the back of the cake. So I'm just taking my next sheet, lining it up as best as I can and popping it on there. I find the best thing to do with the scraper is just push it against the cake to make sure it's all adhered. So it's not gonna squash your squares. Then trimming, trying to find the edge of the cake to trim to. Now the perfectionist in me is screaming a little bit that the squares don't all line up to the top and there's going to be visible joins and things like that but you have to take into account this. The squares are a very hard thing to do and you have to take into account people's budgets and it is a cake and what things you can add to kind of mask it a little bit. But I don't think that looks too bad once all the little squares are painted and everything and there's lots of detail on it. Um, but I'll show you when what's around the front. You can see uh, what I'm trying to do is panel all the sides. So I've got that little panel there to finish. A little panel here. Um, a little panel across here. So I'm trying to put all the sides on first and then I'm going right, to go around and put all the tops on. But that's how it's looking so far. You can see there's lots of little gaps that need filling in. I am going to be here <laughs> all night. Um, it is now half past two in the afternoon. I've only just managed to cover the whole thing in my little squares. Um, and now I've just started to add the first bit of colour. And it's one of those where you have to really trust the process and just hope that it's going to turn out all right. So I'm just blocking in the blue waterfall. I am just choosing the bricks that I want to be the waterfall and colouring them in all in one colour blue. And then when I'm finished and happy with the whole thing, that's when I go in with like a lighter blue brick, a darker blue brick to make it look a bit more Minecrafty. Oh, the fire alarm is going off again. So yeah, now I'm just kind of creating the path of my waterfall using the, the squares. When I finish with the blue, I'm gonna add my lava and then that's when I can go in with brown for the, the sides and green grass for the tops. Oh my gosh, pray for me. I'm gonna be here all night.
this is how we're looking an hour in. I have my water on, I have my lava, all the brown is done and I am about to start on the green. Um, just to show what I'm painting with, I'm painting with airbrush colours mixed with water. If the colour is a little bit too dark, such as the brown, I've just added some white powder to it. Watered it right down into a watery paint so it will go on nice and easy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to about to start on the green now. Right, I have finished painting it. I have since been home, had some spaghetti bolognese and come back down to work. So it's roughly about half six now in the evening. And I've had a little brainwave, but I don't know if it's going to work. So all my squares are currently one color of green and one color of brown. And we want to add variation to this because in Minecraft, the blocks are all slightly different colors. And I have these little dabby sponges. They're usually like a half moon or a half sphere um, to dab circles on. And I don't use them very much and I have a few of them. So I've cut one down into, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little square on the end there or as, as best as I can get a tiny square on the end. And this is either genius or rubbish. So let's give it a try. Let's give this a go. I mean, it has changed the colour of it. I will probably need to maybe try a different darker colour, maybe. I'm just trying to figure out if this is quicker than painting them. I think they're actually showing up better on camera than they are in person. I can't really see that they've changed colour much in person, so let's try a darker one instead. Okay, I'm going to argue that this is quicker than painting each individual square. Nice. Right, it is now 10 to 9 at night. Adam is coming for me in 10 minutes. As he said, I'm not working on it all night. So I am sticking minecart track on, trying to get as far ahead as I can. It's taking so long. This is where we're up to. We now have everything painted. I'm starting to put a little bit track on. Um, I think I might have another tunnel here maybe coming out onto this platform. This is the bit that I want to get done really. I want to get as much track on as possible so I can see the layout of it. And then the rest is just detail. quarter past three and collection is at five o'clock i just finished um i need to make a box for it because it's got a quite big board i think it's like a 16 inch board um and the only 16 width boxes i have are wedding ones which are quite tall so i'm going to cut it down so it will fit in the car um write the invoice out which includes what pieces to take off and what's not edible I have to photograph it, video it. But I would like to call this cake never again. <laughs> I am pretty sure anybody out there who has done a Minecraft cake can relate. I have done Minecraft cakes before, but not really on this scale and amount of detail. Um, do you know when like marathon runners will spend hours and hours pushing themselves and running and then when they finally run through the end tape they feel quite emotional when they finished <laughs> that's what happens when you make a minecraft kick well, let me show you what we have here before my battery dies 
um, very intense brickwork. Um, you might have seen me making this house. This house, uh, the lid, the roof comes off as a lid and it's full of sweets. We have the trees, the TNT boxes, little pigs, and of course the mine cart track was the biggest part of this cake. That's what it was all about really. Um, just mixing mine craft with a mine cart track. There are more figures. You might spot these little guys are not from Minecraft. These are from Among Us. And we have a little yellow one there and a little white one hiding down here. More pigs. We have the waterfall, the lava. Age, name, mine trucks, a cart, a chicken. Steve and here is a little easter egg of the back of a DeLorean just making its way through a tunnel right there because Finn, I will put lots of his um, cakes on screen because I've been making Finn's cakes for a few years now and the last one also had a DeLorean on it because he is a fan of Back to the Future so his last cake one of his previous cakes was um, Back to the Future mixed with Lion King. He's also had Bluey mixed with E.T. <laughs> he has had a Mario Kart cake with a little Spider-Man figure on it. So yeah, he's now seven. It's funny because you watch, like, you see the kids growing up with every cake that you make. Another year has gone by. Um, but hopefully he likes this one. I'm going to make the box now have a bit of a clear up but I am so thankful to have this finished today. I've never been so stressed knowing that it's leaving the same day as I'm still trying to get it finished and watching the hours roll by. I cannot believe how many hours it took just to make the TNT boxes and the little animals. It was like two or three hours went by and I'm like oh my god I need to hurry up with these. But it's done! Oh, what a week. We finished the Minecraft cake and Finn's dad came to collect it with two others in the car so it was well looked after. It was seat belted in, it was propped up level and it made it home in one piece which is always what we want. I have since had feedback on Instagram because I posted it over on Instagram. Um, lots of you couldn't believe the amount of squares that it had on it. And obviously Finn's dad commented as well and said it went down an absolute storm at the party and all the kids loved it. So I did say that he wasn't allowed Minecraft or Lego <laughs> for next year's cake. Um, but then the Sunday, because that left on Saturday um, and on the Sunday we carried on doing Abby's room. Abby's room has been in progress for quite a while because she had a ceiling leak. Um, it was quite bad, which meant her ceiling kind of bored it had a hole in it. It started to go mouldy. So the whole ceiling needed doing. So that got done. And then when we were going to freshen up the walls, um, as we were stripping the wallpaper off, because the coving had to come down, which meant the wallpaper then had to come off, as we started stripping the wallpaper off, the plaster started falling off. So the whole wall then needed plastering. And then we discovered another gap on another wall which needed patching. So yeah, we ended up filling loads of holes just to be able to then paint over it. And then there were some damp patches on the outer window wall that just wouldn't cover with paint. It was taking a long time to dry. So yeah, it's been a long in progress job because one thing that you think is going to be really simple, something crops up which makes it twice as long. The ceiling's painted, the walls are painted. One of the walls is then uh, wallpapered because Abby wanted like a brick wall effect. So we were like wallpapering at 11 o'clock at night on Monday. And the only thing left to do now is put the trim on the floor where the skirting meets the laminate floor in and then we can put all the furniture back in finishing touches and it's done and the most annoying part about the whole thing is that it doesn't it's not going to look very much different because the room was white black blue and coral before and now it's just white and black um <laughs> so really there's not much change at all there's no new furniture going in it's not going to look drastically different uh, but it's just cost us a lot of money to make it look exactly the same as it did but this is because she is a fan of tim burton Beetlejuice, you know, the black and white stripes are a thing. And we said what we'll do is we'll do a white canvas with black details and then she has a lot of interest and stuff. 
that are very colourful. So we'll just leave the canvas of her room very blank and let all her pieces, collectibles, do the talking because she's got a lot of Funko Pops and they're all different colours and she's wanting artwork and stuff on her walls in frames. So just keep the, keep the canvas nice and blank and let everything else do the talking. So that's where we were going with that. But it's time to wrap up another vlog. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you see you liked seeing behind the scenes of the Minecraft cake and I did that gamer cake as well. If you haven't seen already, the cake challenge tutorial went up last week. So I will leave that one linked below if you want to see how disastrous I end up piping. I'm not very good at piping. But please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below and I will see you very soon in the next one.